it's time to pay attention. There is a massive new crypto merger on the horizon, and it's about to receive a ton of attention from all the top exchanges, including Binance. Welcome to The Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of The Beam Pod is sponsored by BitGet. BitGet is the most user-friendly and secure crypto trading platform for both beginners and experienced traders. BitGet is the best place to not only trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also all the small cap gems that we discuss every day. With 24 seven customer support, leverage trading, and a wide array of other advanced features, BitGet sets itself apart from every other centralized exchange. Through Beanstalk's official partnership with BitGet, you'll receive 15% off all trading fees when you sign up using the referral link in the description. All views expressed by speakers on the BeanPod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the BeanPod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to be discussing a huge merger in crypto that is about to receive a push from all of the top exchanges, including Binance. Okay, we hear the word Binance, like what? This is crazy. But when you look at the token that currently exists, it is listed on every exchange. OKX, Binance, KuCoin, etc. But there's a merger that's happening, and this token is going to be transitioning into another one, uh, merging with another chain, and it's going to be like this super project, if mm -hmm. you will. And because of this, there's going to be a massive push from all these exchanges because they want you know trading volume, all these things. They want everybody to know, look, you can't trade this one anymore. It's going to be this one. So you're going to see a lot of eyes coming onto this project, and when you dig into it, it's really unique, and I think it's going to help with mass adoption. Yeah, for sure. So what we're seeing is we're going to take, not we are, they are taking an established product in crypto, which has a working platform and tons of users, very, very good use case. But because it's just one product in one platform, the you know potential market cap and valuation is limited. Yeah. But what you're going to see now is they're merging with an entire chain dedicated to building that project product and more products like it. And the valuation, in theory, obviously, not this, this is not financial advice, but in theory, the valuation of this new coin can be much, much larger. So this is an episode you need to watch until the end. When you look at the market cap compared to the amount of trading volume you're seeing with this token, it's pretty, pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. It's like $100 million market cap, but it has over $100 million in trading volume. It's wild. It's freaking crazy. And the chart looks really nice. It's been like up only for a while here. So it makes me, I'm interested to see what happens to this token when it eventually merges into, like you said, like this product with the chain and it becomes this one giant project. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about, I think, <clears throat> the current token and then we can let the audience know maybe like what the new token is going to be a little bit later in the episode. Yeah, for sure. So the token that's currently live now, which is the product and platform that I already said has a ton of users, has received adoption and everybody likes it. It's called Frontier Wallet. And the token is front, F-O-R-N-T. And as Josh mentioned, it's available on all the biggest exchanges, Binance, OKX, you name it. This is an established project. And the Frontier Wallet, in my opinion, is one of the top competitors to MetaMask in being the best wallet in all of crypto. And we're going to go through a few of the features of Frontier Wallet. And then later in the episode, we're going to tell you about the pivot, the rebrand, and what could make this absolutely go crazy. So Frontier Wallet, it's a non-custodial multi-chain wallet designed for managing various digital assets all in one place. So you can imagine it, you know, if you're using it on your browser, it'll take your MetaMask, your Phantom Wallet, uh, your Brave browser, all into this one simple place. And one of the key components is making it a lot easier for the audience and the masses to use because it doesn't require, you know, a seed login every time you get in or, you know, all these other different uh, complicated ways of having to get into multiple wallets at different times it's just all in one place and it's easy yeah i mean we've talked about a lot of wallets on this channel mostly because we don't like metamask it's just so clunky like the prices don't update correctly sometimes it'll log you out and you have to put in every single wallet and token menu like it's just Far. not a good user experience and in order for us to reach mass adoption in crypto 
the wallet space needs to improve dramatically. Like you can't have people that have no crypto experience downloading MetaMask, having to write down these 12 words and then they have to redo it all, find all their tokens manually. Like that's how you lose users, right? Yeah. So we need prod products like Frontier Wallet for many, many different reasons. And one of the things that it's, it's, you know, better than MetaMask, it has a, you know, massive advantage is not only is it EVM compatible, but it also supports non-EVM chains like Solana. And we've seen how popular Solana is. I think in order to find that one wallet that could onboard the next millions of people into crypto, it has to offer EVM, Ethereum, and Solana. Like it has to. Yeah, That's think, what everyone wants. I think it has like 65 different chains accessible. Uh, I like that it has an in-wallet bridge to base, but I like that for the asset management, you can do everything in one spot. spot. So you can swap, you can bridge, you can stake, liquidity pool, mm -hmm. yield farming. So um, like Celestia, uh, tickers TIA, you can do in-wallet staking right from that. But you can do that with a number of different tokens. So yeah. it's not like with the different other protocols, <clears throat> you have to like go onto their website, figure out where the staking is and do all these other things. You can just do it straight from the, from the wallet. It's like super simple. And you know what a great part about that is making it super simple and making it in wallet is it's preventing scams because one of the True. most common ways where people get scammed is they say, Oh look, you know, I have token X. I want to stake token X Google staking X token website. It's a fake one. You connect your wallet, boom, all token X gone, right? That is yep. so common. And that's one of the reasons why like a lot of the times when I'm making a, you know, a simple swap, I'm just using the in wallet swap. Like I'm not Googling Uniswap and then you, you know, connect to Uniswoop. Yeah. And then boom, all your tokens are gone, right? So by putting more features in wallet, native in wallet, you're actually preventing a ton of scams, which again, if someone is new to crypto and they come in and boom, they're scammed right away, they're fucking leaving and they're never coming back. So the more features that can be built in wallet, like Frontier Wallet is doing, the better. Yeah. So there's been a massive rebrand that's occurring. And this is the beautiful thing, the beautiful thing about decentralization and DAO voting. Because this came down to a community vote and it received 100% yes. And the 100% yes was to merge uh, Frontier into some, something known as Self Chain. So the new ticker will be SLF. Right. Um, so SLF will then be used for uh, the government, validation, gas fees, et cetera. So Frontier transforming into Self Chain is going to, now it's like a layer one blockchain that is designed to simplify and enhance the user experience for web three. Like I said, it's bringing every, everybody in. It's gonna make it a lot easier, but there's a lot of key features and benefits to having self chain and frontier working together. And like we said, it's like keyless wallets, um, <clears throat> multi-chain support, enhanced security. So you're getting all the benefits of a layer one in combination with the seamless, easy to use access of the wallets. Yeah, I think this the opportunity now for this new SLF token is astronomically larger than the front token. Because look, as I mentioned at the start of the episode, so now that you know a bit about both the projects and what they're merging into, think about the value proposition for a wallet token. Like, yes, it's good. And Frontier, you know, market cap is, is respectable. But when you're in investing, you're looking for that blue sky opportunity, right? You're looking for, wow, how could this 10x? How can this 100x? When you just see a wallet token, the road to 10x, 100x is unclear. They yeah. would have to take every user, right? But now what you're seeing is self-chain. It's a layer one blockchain specifically for wallets yeah. and easy to use seamless adoption technology for wallets. So not only are, is Frontier Wallet going to be the flagship product of self-chain, but a lot of the innovation that is required for crypto to go mass adoption is going to come from self-chain. Self-chain is going to be responsible for all of these easy wallets, easy login, no keys needed, all these integrations. It's all going to be coming from an actual purpose-built layer one blockchain for wallets. And I don't see a lot of competition that's doing this. So for me now, the value, obviously, again, not financial advice, but the value of the SLF token can be much, much higher than the current front token. Yeah, because it's just a wallet. So yeah, what, what are you going to do that's going to wow me? You know, we are, we're constantly on the hunt for different wallets that are eventually going to hopefully pave the path because there's a lot of chatter from a bunch of these different projects, but like we haven't quite seen anything yet. So we got to keep digging and finding the ones that are, have the most potential. And right now this one, this one looks like it's, it's poised, yep. you know, using a uh, modular blockchain, uh, a modular blockchain, this is going to make it easier for developers with their SDKs, their APIs, all these things to 
making a lot more of a seamless process for these developers, but it's also going to be good for the retail. And I can see, you know, when you have a, a layer one and then the fact that they have all these wallets, that will be in, easily integratable with anything within the ecosystem. I can see this really being really big for GameFi because all these different games are going to require different wallets, whether you're playing uh, Alluvium or some sort of blockchain version of Warzone or something like that. It's going to be a different wallet for each game. And having it super simple with like a keyless entry and no seed phrases, et cetera, it's going to be really simple to start integrating this. Yeah, I think one of the biggest ways that crypto can see mass adoption is by bringing over these gamers into Web3. And as you said, like the gamers are not going to want to have this clunky wallet. The gamers are not going to want to have to write down the seed phrase. So when you see a wallet like Frontier now going into self-chain, well, I think what self-chain is going to do is they're going to incentivize a lot of these developers that are working on wallets and wallet-like pr uh, platforms to basically make things more user-friendly. And I think that is not only going to be a huge win for the potential value of the SLF token, but a huge win for crypto in general. Mm. Because the more people we onboard into crypto via any avenue, it doesn't matter if they're onboarded via DeFi or gaming or metaverse or AI, whatever it is, the more people in crypto, the better for people in crypto because you have more money flowing in, you have more developers building, it's just a net win for everyone. So that's why I think Frontier Wallet and Selfchain with this whole new pivot and rebrand is bullish for the entire industry. And obviously, in our personal opinion, bullish for the SLF token. That's why we both personally invested in the front token because we're always early in these things. We're, we're buying front now or we already bought the front token because we think, look, once this rebrand comes in and it's backed, this is the part we haven't really discussed yet. It's backed by all the biggest exchanges they're going to be giving this a huge push so think about where it could go yeah when you you know like a binance has two million followers on x and okx and um, all the top exchange kucoin etc mm -hmm. now it's gonna be a relatively big marketing push in my opinion um you know like got the got the browser extension the mobile wallet so the self custody multi-chain um web3 wallet avail available on android mm -hmm. and ios self-chain the keyless wallet infrastructure all these things so like yeah it's um we're constantly looking for these new wallets, and I think that this could be one that A, is going to see a big push, B, it's easy to use, C, not a lot of people are talking about it yet. Yeah, I mean, look, if you're, if you're a skeptic, download the Frontier Wallet from the App Store. Check it out. I guarantee you, if you're used to using MetaMask, you're going to download Frontier Wallet and be like, wow, this is much better than MetaMask. It actually updates. It's more secure. It's easier to use. It's going to allow for a much expanded ecosystem. And like I said, a lot of these features are built into the wallet. So you're going to like that. The Frontier token, the FRONT token is live right now. But look, the blue sky opportunity is with SelfChain. And what you're going to see in the coming weeks and months is the official rebrand to SelfChain. The Front token is going to be bridged to SLF. And with this massive push from all of these huge exchanges, I think you're going to see SelfChain become one of these heavily, heavily talked about projects. So as always, we're in early. Absolutely. Hey, make sure you guys tune to the next episode. That one is going to be a banger. All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.